This is our champion, Travis Coulter, a deli worker from Salem, Oregon. So far in his run as champion, he's won a Chevy Camaro plus cash and prizes for the season, totaling $77,058. Today, one of these players can win a large screen television, a pool table, elegant jewelry, or a fabulous dream vacation and continue a journey toward cash and prices, including a brand new car and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 up for grabs today on Sale of the Century. And now, here's your host, the star of Sale of the Century, Brandon Scruggs. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again, and please welcome back our champion, Mr. Travis Coulter. How are you? I am well, sir. How are you? Are you excited about the car, the big car win from the last episode? Very excited. I've always wanted a Chevy Camaro, so i uh, i'm gonna derive it like it's nobody's business i'm i'm really glad that i won that <laughs> uh, i don't i don't i don't doubt it at all this is a fun car to drive and again it's in your possession right now you've won the car so far but you got another chance to try to win everything else that's on that board you ready to go today yes i am well got some good competition for you here and to introduce them we have my co-host for the show mr jason myers Thank you, Brandon. Travis, good to see you again. Good to see you, as always. Definitely. Right. Travis, your opponents for this episode are a guest ambassador from Knoxville, Tennessee. Please welcome Brandon Hinkle. Hi, guys. And your other opponent is all the way from the land down under. Please welcome Cameron Shields. Hello. Uh, good to be here. Yep. Thank you, Jason. We'll see you for some instant bargains in just a bit. Uh, Brandon Hinkle, welcome back to the show, sir. Thank you, Mr. Scruggs. It feels good to be back. Yeah, haven't had him on in quite a while here on, on the show, but glad to make it back here. Uh, didn't do so hot the first time around, but we're back with us trying to earn some more money. You got $875 so far in your bank for the season. Ready to see if you can add some more to it today? I was born ready, and I should do my very best, and I wish my good friends... And my opponents, uh, best of luck. Fantastic. Good, good, good luck to you. And Cameron, welcome back, sir. Thank you, Brandon. Good to be here. Yeah. Cameron ma making the long trick trek across the pond, the big pond, that is, to join us uh, here. I, I, I know, I know. Uh, the plane ride was uh, terrible. I know. What What is that, like 18 hours from from sydney yeah so, to... something like that's like i i i yeah something like that it's like go to dubai and then you go to la and yeah i know absolutely abysmal yeah well, as best say yeah it'd be to la and then over to atlanta and then into Asheville and then like another hour hour card ride just to get here but yeah, i'm glad you made it mm. thank thank you for mm, enduring yeah. the long trek back to us oh I shall do my best. It's good to be here. Well, you want, you know, last time you were on the show, you picked yourself up $1,000 all in cash last time. Ready to see if you can add some more to it today? Well, look, we can uh, only hope. We'll give, I'll give it my best shot. Give it the best shot. Uh, i got got faith in them. Three good players here and a lot of cash and prizes up for grabs. Got a jackpot currently right now, over $115,000 up for grabs in our on our winner's board today. So somebody... Is going to get a chance to um, really do some, uh, really do some damage to my bank account here. We'll see what happens here. But anyway, good luck to you all. Let's go ahead and get you, our game started here by giving you each twenty dollars in your banks. And as always, questions are on the buzzer. Each one you get right gets you five dollars. Each one you miss costs you five dollars. And along the way, you have the chance for the instant bargains, in, uh, fame game, and our instant cash jackpot, which I believe today is at $4,000 from this one. So we'll see what you have. And remember, again, one question, one person per question on the, on the in, our main, in our game here. So good luck to you all. Hands on buzzers, and we start this episode of sale with this question for five. In Germany, 
What currency was replaced by the euro in 2002? That's Travis. The mark? Yes, the Deutsche Mark. That's right. Good. $5 for you, sir. Well, up to 25 What singer had hits with I Got You, I Feel Good, and It's a Man's World? Cameron. Uh, James Brown. Yes, the Godfather of Soul. You're right. $5 for you, up to 25 which snake is the biggest and heaviest in the world? Cameron again. Uh, the boa constrictor. No, I'm sorry. It's not the boa constrictor. It's actually the anaconda. The anaconda is that one there. It can weigh over 200 kilos on that one. So, yeah, that's a big snake. So, $5 cost you there. Drops you back down to 20 We'll try this one. All right, true or false, players? The 1989 album by New Kids on the Block was called Hanging Around. That's Brandon. That's false. Yeah, it was called Hanging Tough. You're right. $5 for you up to 25 <laughs> Columbia and Zambia are the world's leading producers of which precious gemstone? That's Travis. Diamonds? No, emeralds, sir. Emeralds is what it was. Cost you 5 there. Down to 20 for you. And with that bell means it's now time for our first fame game of the day. Oh, sorry, not fame game, instant bargain. I'm jumping ahead of myself at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're going for instant bargains now. Remember, the player of the lead and gets a chance to buy bargain prize merchandise. Remember, a sale surprise can come up with any of the instant bargains here. Uh, we look at the scores. Brandon, you've got the $5 lead over Cameron and Travis. Maybe I can interest you in buying this. Brandon, just for you, we have a beverage center. Get your drink on with this beverage center, normally priced at $1,050 today on. $6 there is what we've got for you, Brandon. If you bought it, you would be in second place behind Cameron and Travis by a dollar. But you know what? I I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I, I'm going to I'm gonna give it to you for the price of the low, low price. I'll take a dollar off because I like a lot of ties. So five bucks if you want to buy the beverage center, Brandon. It'll put you in a three-way tie, and you get that prize guaranteed to be yours no matter what happens the rest of the game. So five bucks if you want to buy, and he's going to buy. Yeah, there you go. Well done for you, sir. Enjoy that beverage channel. And there's a sales surprise with it. Nice. And I, hit that. I was hiding in the it was hiding in the cat in the drawer yeah. here. Not only does it keep your beverages cold, it keeps some cash cold too to the tune of one thousand dollars. There we go. Enjoy that. Congratulations. Well, definitely split that with my girlfriend. There you go. Lucky lady there. Y'all enjoy the beverages, enjoy the cash, and again, that's yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game. We'll knock the $5 off your score, and we're right back to square one where everyone started with 20 bucks, and that means we'll continue back with this next question for five. The American-Canadian singer-songwriter Robin Thicke worked with Christina Aguilera, Jennifer Hudson, and Usher, among others, but what was the title of his huge hit single back in 2000? Cameron? Blood Lines? 2013 Blurred Lines is the correct answer, sir. $5 for you up to 25 I feel somewhat ashamed, but look, you know. Hey, it's, it's okay. No harm, no foul there. You got it right. That's the important <laughs> thing there. We'll continue, we'll continue on with this. King of the Hill is an animated sitcom for adults which ran from 1997 to 2010 on Fox TV. What was the hometown setting for King of the Hill? Travis. Arlen, Texas. Ar Arlen, Texas is right. Well done. 25 for you. All right. The Ivory Coast, officially the Republic of the Cote d'Ivoire in West Africa, has a population of just 20 million, yet it's the world's biggest exporter of what commodity? No one knows? Believe it or not, it's the world's is the world's largest exporter of cocoa beans. Cocoa beans, yes. Mm. Most mm. most of the base ingredient for chocolate coming coming out of the Ivory Coast there. So 
Hmm. No harm, no foul there. That just means we go on to our officially now the first fame game of the day. We're not playing for money for your bank here, but we're playing for a pick off of our fame game board where we do have cash prizes and most importantly, some money cards up there on the board. We start as always with a 5 and a $10 money card on the board as we look for this famous thing. Famous thing buzzing when you think you know it. I am an animal. I have two species, the American and Chinese. I have very tough skin. I also have... Brandon? Panda bear? No, I'm sorry. It's not a panda bear. You don't lose any money for that, but you're out for the rest of the question. I will continue on for both Travis and Cameron. I have tough skin. I also have scales. I resemble another animal, but our teeth are quite different. Contrary to popular opinion, Lacoste symbol is not me. I'm a... That's Cameron. This is the alligator. It is the alligator. Very good, sir. You got it. Thank you. Yeah, name comes from the Spanish word for lizard and rarely attacks humans. Unless provoked, but then that's a whole other story. I must say, you have a famous man that comes from Australia that knew a lot about uh, alligators Cri- and crocodiles. Crikey. Right? Yes, re- rest in peace, Mr. Irwin. Rest in peace, indeed. Mm. And Cameron, for that... thing is actually... Fifteen years, actually. Yeah, yeah just that, it. it's been anyway. it's been a minute. It do, it doesn't feel like it either. Hmm. But Cameron, anyway. with that correct answer, you get the pick of our fame game board, sir. Nine numbers up there, and it's a lot of great prizes and cash up there. Which one would you like? Uh, let's go lucky seven. Number seven. And behind the number seven, we have two Nintendo 3DS XLs and five games worth six hundred dollars. All right, there you go. Some great prizes for you, and again, that's yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the game. Cameron, well done. Thank you. And a good game starting out here. Brandon's got some prizes. Cameron's got some prizes. Travis has already got prizes, so everybody's going home with something today. It's all, like, nice to see. But we'll see who's going to win it all, because we're going to take our first commercial break. We'll be back with more Silver Century. Right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Sale of the Century here. Our champion, Travis, is in tie with the lead with Cameron with 25. Brandon only one question back with 20. And we're back with this. Players, the Roman numeral LXXI stands for what number? Travis. 81. No, I'm sorry. You added one too many X's there. It's 71. Uh Uh-oh. 71. Yeah, the L's 50, the X's are each 10, the I is 1, so 71 there. Cost you 5, drops you down to 20. All right, players, 1, 2, or 3. How many stars feature on the flag of Chile? Brandon. 2. 1, sir. Sorry. Cost you 5 there, drops you down to 15. All right, Q is a famous magazine about what subject? Q is a famous magazine about what subject? No one, no one heard of Q magazine. Famous music magazine. It's a famous music magazine there. Mm. It's all right, no problem. No, no harm, no foul. We got another question. What famous singer had a hit with Queen with the single "Under Pressure"? Travis. Oh shoot, um, Abba. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was not ABBA by any means. It was that was David Bowie. David Bowie is what we were looking for there. Three. Yeah, cost you five there, drops you to fifteen, and with that jingle, that means it's now time for our second instant bargain of the day. Cameron, you now have the lead over Travis and Brandon by ten dollars. Maybe you can use some of that to buy this. Cameron, how about we try to talk you into a car stereo? Impress everybody on the street or make them mad with your car stereo priced at $2,040. Today on Sale of the Century, you could crank your tunes for only $12. All right, $12. Thank you, Thank you Jason. 12 bucks for a brand new car stereo worth over $2,000, Cameron. First off, do you own your own car? That would be a big no there, Brandon. Oh, okay. This is going yeah. to be a hard <laughs> sell then. All right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right, I'll, t- I'll tell you what. Maybe you can gift it to somebody, but I'll give you something for yourself as well. 
two thousand forty dollar car stereo is what I'm offering. I will give you a thousand dollars in cash, and I will lower the cost to put you in a three way tie with Travis and Brandon. Only cost you ten dollars. Buzz in if you want it. The three thousand forty dollar so- deal going once. Going twice. No <laughs> sale. And as soon as he said he didn't have a car, I was like, "Uh, this is going to be difficult. But all right. He decides to keep the lead there. No harm, no foul on that. You'll stay at 25. You'll stay at 25. Travis and Brandon, you're both back in as we go to this question for five. Soba and Udon are types of what food? That's Cameron. Noodles? Noodles is correct. They're $5 for you up to 30 All right. Uh, a Shantae is what color? A Shantae is what color? No one knows it? All right. Um, it is actually the... It's orange. It is orange there, so... No harm, no foul there. We'll continue on with another one. Which motor company manufactures the Kona vehicle? That's K-O-N-A. That's Travis. Hyundai. Hyundai is correct, sir. $5 for you up to 20 And it's time for our second fame game of the day. Players, we have a 5 and a $10 money card on the board. We're now adding a $15 money card as we look for this famous place. Famous place. Buzz in when you think you know it. I am a body of water. Aristotle once wrote about my waters. A biblical river flows into me. That river happens to be the River Jordan. No fish can live in me. And that's Cameron. Is it the Dead Sea? It is, sir. Very good. Correct answer. Thank you. Yes, I am the lowest point on earth. I'm a short drive from a holy city. I am far from alive, and I am the saltiest sea in the world, compared to nails, at least. Just saying. <laughs> but nonetheless, you got pick of the board, sir. A $15 money card's hiding up there somewhere. What number would you like? Let's go number nine. And behind the number nine, we have $750, or try again. Right, you can take some more cash to put in your bank, or you can pick again, hoping to find a money card. I'm going to pick again. All right. Uh, I will go number six. And behind the number six, we have mystery money or try again. Well, you don't know how much the money is this time, so you could take the mystery money, which is usually a good chunk, or you could try again mm. with a 50-50 shot at finding a money card right now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for a money card. All right, uh, determined we'll, to we'll find go, one. We'll go in a straight. We'll go in a straight line. We'll go number three. Well, don't you want to know what was behind the mystery money? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, we'll, we'll see. Let's show them how much she passed up on, Jason. Uh, Cameron, if you took the mystery money, you could have had $1,000, babies. Yep. Yeah, okay. $1,000 oh, well. is what he passed on, and he decided to go with number three anyway. So let's see what we have behind three. It's a complete tic-tac-toe behind number three. We have the $15 money card. Ooh, there we go. He found, he, was, he found what he was looking for. Well done, sir. We have that $15 to your bank. You have the lead now with 45 Travis, our champion, with 20 and Brandon with 15 Everybody's now back in with this next question for five. The Beatles hailed from which English city? Travis. London. No, Liverpool. Liverpool. Step step backwards there. He drops you back to 15. In the story of the nativity, how many wise men visited the infant Jesus? That's Cameron. At three. Three is the correct answer there, up to 50. L-I is the chemical symbol for what element? Travis. Lithium. Lithium's correct. Just step back, right? Back up to 20. Players, and where in the human body would you find the premolar? Travis? In your mouth? Yes, in the mouth. Very good. Up to 25 there. 
And what that sound means that I just got paid. The check has come through, and that means we, it's time to give away some instant cash. And as we look at the scores right now, Cameron, you have the lead right now, which means you get a chance to play for today's instant cash jackpot. As you know, there's three boxes over here. Two of them have $100 bills in them. One has our instant cash jackpot today, which currently stands at $4,000. If you'd like to play for the instant cash, it's going to cost you the entirety of your lead, which is $25, but it will be it'll give you bring you $4,000. But I will tell you what, because I know how difficult this this one is. I will tell you what. And I know you don't want to give up your lead, but maybe I can tempt you to do this instead. Whatever box that you open, whatever you find inside of it, I will multiply by five, sir. Which means you potentially could win yourself $20,000. Hmm. You just have to give up your lead for a shot at up for $20,000, and all it's going to cost you is 25 bucks to play for it. You're guaranteed to walk away with no less than 500 bucks for it. So if hmm. you want to play for 20000 Hit your, hit your buzzer. Going once. Going twice. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I value my lead. I value no my lead. No sale. Oh. Oh. T t t tough crowd today. Tough crowd to sell anything mm. to at this point. All right. But just for fun, Cameron, say you had decided to go for it. Which box would you have picked? Uh, let's go to number two. Number two. Jason, where do we have the money at? This time I'll put it in number two. Oh, no. you would have had you would have had twenty thousand dollars, sir. That would have been a huge, oh, well. been a huge <sighs> hit there. Well, nobody nobody picks up the instant cash prize today, so we'll add another thousand dollars to it for next time, bring it up to five thousand dollars, and we will go ahead and pause for the cause and take another commercial break, and we'll be right back with more sale right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Sale of the Century. We all had a silent ceremony for poor Cameron over here. Just missed out on an opportunity at $20,000 in cash. But he maintains his lead right now in this game with $50. Our champion Travis behind at $25. Brandon with $15. But still with some money cards on the fame game board still to come. And that speed round, anything can happen. So everybody's still in this game. And we continue on with this next question for five. Brussels sprouts belong to which group of plants? Brandon. Uh, um, the, um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Out of time. They're, they're essentially many cabbages. It's the cabbage. That's family. what I was. Yeah, cabbage, it was, so. that's what I was trying to think of. I just couldn't put it out. That's all right. Cost you five there, drops you to ten. What type of bird shares its name with one of the Batman's arch enemies? Travis. Dang it. Penguin. Yes, the penguin is correct. Up to 30. Proverbably, what does a bad workman always blame? Cameron? His tools. His tools is correct there. $5 for you up to 55 And that sound means it's time for our third and final fame game of the day. We have a 5 a 10 and now a $25 money card up on the board. So, Travis, if you happen to get this and find it, you're in a tie with Cameron for the lead. Brandon, you can get right back in the thick of things here as well. We are looking for a famous person. Famous person buzz in when you know it. I am an infamous fictional character. I'm the villain in many stories. A novel by Bram Stoker featured me. And that's Cameron. That would be uh, Dracula. And that would be a correct answer, sir. Well done. No, uh, inspired by Vlad the Impaler, my home's in a castle in Transylvania. Don't offer me garlic; I prefer blood. And Cameron, with a big opportunity here to take a massive lead with the uh, pick of the fame game board. There are three money cards left up there on the five spots we have remaining, sir. What number would you like? I will go with number one. And behind the number one, we have the $25 money card. Woo! Go. A huge win for right there for Cameron. With $25 in your bank, brings you up to $80. 
Uh, we had one big money card that wasn't found, which was the 10. Jason Meyer, was it at? Uh, if he really wanted the 10, he should have gone dead center, number 5. Number 5, okay. That's what we have left, and now it is the Catch Cameron Show at this point. Let's see what happens as we finish <laughs> with our speed round, please. Man, please have 60 seconds of the clock. Okay, rapid fire questions in this round, players. Each one that you get right gets you five dollars. Each one you miss costs you five dollars. Along and person who has the most cash in their bank at the end of this round will become our champion and will go on to the winners board. Remember the clock will not start and you will not be able to buzz in until I completely finish reading the first question. So best of luck to you. The speed round starts with this. What vitamin comes from sunlight? Travis. Vitamin D. Right. What does the computer designation PC stand for? Travis. Personal computer. Right. What does this driver use to tell others he's turning? Cameron. An indicator. Right. What the first four letters on the top row of a keyboard is called? Travis. Cordy keyboard. Right. What season does July fall in? Brandon. Summer. Right. Uh, pants with wide openings at the bottom trendy in the 1970s are called what? Travis. Bell bottoms. Right. Foods like milk, cheese, and butter are considered what? Cameron. Dairy. Right. What's the name of the largest desert in the world? Travis. Sahara. Right. What letter comes before Q? Brandon. Ah. Uh, Rhyme. The tip. Uh, what kind of medical doctor specializes in children's health? And it doesn't matter. Time's up. Cameron, you're our new champion. Woo! Well done, Kyle. Let's go. Uh, I don't think you guys missed any of them, but the one, bef uh, like one here, what alpha? What letter comes from the alphabet before Q? You went after Q. That's R. I was looking at the letter before. That's P. P is what we're looking I was what like for that. I was, I said, yeah, and the last last one we didn't re really get a chance to finish. What kind of medical doctor specializes in children's health? That's a pediatrician there. And Cameron, you are our big winner today, sir. Congratulations to you. You're going on to the winner's yeah. board in just a minute. And we got to say goodbye to some great contestants here. Uh, Travis, again, your reign was short-lived here, unfortunately, sir. But did you have fun with us? Always, always. Well, you don't leave here empty-handed, sir. Uh, you didn't pick up any additional prizes today, but to add to, well, multiply your cash in front of you by 25, and you leave us here with a season total currently of $78,433, sir. Congratulations to you. Thank you. All done for you. We'll have you back hopefully before the season's over with again. And, Brandon, you did pretty well for yourself today, too, as well, sir. Uh, you got yourself the beverage center. You got $1,000 in cash. Plus, we'll multiply the cash in front of you currently by 25. So your total today for today's game is 2300 And when we add it to your previous winning, sir, gives you a season total now of $3,175, sir. Well done. Thank you, sir. A great, a great run for you. And Cameron, you have become our new champion, sir. Congratulations. You've got the you've got the Nintendo 3DSs, the games, and uh, those pr two prizes together are worth six uh, six hundred dollars in cash. But you ready to see what your ninety dollars is going to buy you on our winners board today? Let's go for it. Well, let's see what kind of damage you can do as we head on back to the winners board and play our bonus game. Come on over, Cameron. All right, Cameron, congratulations to you on your win here. And now we're going to listen to the dulcet tones of Mr. Jason Myers as he tells us our, your prizes you're playing for on today's winner's board. Cameron, match prize number one. It's a 70-inch LED 3D TV. Prize number two will net you a snowmobile. Prize number three will get you a sport boat. Match the trip cards at the train trip across Europe. Match the Walt Disney World cards at the $10,000 trip to Walt Disney World. Match the car cards at the GMC Sierra Denali. Match the Jeep cards at our featured Jeep Grand Cherokee worth $30,000 for Cameron. Find the three lock cards, you win everything, plus a cash jackpot of $115,000.
for a grand total of $252,625 today on Sale of the Century. Thank you, Jason. Again, over $250,000 up for grabs on our winner's board today. This is the biggest jackpot we have tried to give away all season long. And Cameron, you're the lucky one that gets a chance to go after it. So I shall, Ooh, boy. I shall also remind you too, sir, that there are three $10,000 bonus cards up there. If you match all three of those, we're going to give you an additional $10,000 on top of whichever prize that you match off the board as well. So keep that in mind as you're playing. All right, Seamus, take up the sign, please. All right, Cameron, we got some, we got some work to do for you, sir. Here we go. 20 numbers up there. You're going to start picking them one at a time. First pair of prizes that you match is what you're going to be taking home. If you match all three lot cards, you're taking home the biggest jackpot of the season, and you are automatically retired as a retired champion into our tournament of champions at the end. So with that said, sir, best of luck. Start picking, and good luck to you. All right. Let's start with number nine. Number nine. In the end, what do we have? Behind number nine, we have ten thousand dollars in cash. All right, so that is a bonus card already off the board, so that's a good start for you. Uh, right. No, no matches, no necessary anything for you yet. So go ahead and pick again. Let's go number nineteen. Behind the number nineteen, we have the sport boot. Yep. Sport wrote there for prize number three there. That's one of those. All right, pick again. Uh, number two. The Little Deuce. Behind the number two, we have the TV. Yes, the 70 inch TV on that one. Right. Uh, number 11. Legs 11. Legs 11. Looking for another cash Behind card or a lot? 11, we have the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Right, there's the Jeep. Sir, that's the Jeep Grand Cherokee, our featured car all season long. That, again, that car is worth thirty thousand dollars on its own. Oof. Um, let's go number seven. Lucky seven. All right, number seven. Behind the number seven, we have the loot. loot. All right, there's one of the lot cards, sir. That's one down, two more to go. Cool. Okay. Number thirteen. Unlucky thirteen. Might be lucky for me. Unlucky for some, lucky for some others. Let's find out. Behind the number 13, we have the trip. That's that train trip across Europe. A fantastic prize there. Let's go number eight. Number eight. Come on. I want to find another lot card. Behind the number eight, we have the trip to Walt Disney World. Okay. Uh, look, just about everything up there. You're missing a couple of them, but doing well so far. Keep picking. Okay, uh, number 16. 16. Behind the number 16, we have Jeep Grand Cherokee. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! That is the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Comes with standard features, California admission, that prize is worth $30,000, Cameron, and it could be yours if you decide to keep it. Because I got one final offer for you, sir. You can keep that Jeep Grand Cherokee and drive off with it as a champion and come back next time. Or you can give it back to me and continue picking in hopes that you can possibly win everything. You've got one of the lot cards already uncovered. You would need two more. But be aware that whatever prize that you match next is going to be the one that you do take home. So, the choice is yours. Keep the Jeep or give it back to me in hopes that you can try to win everything on the stage here. Take a moment to decide, and we'll be back with his decision right after this. Welcome back to Sale of the Century here with our new champion, Cameron. He has won himself so far a Jeep Grand Cherokee off our winner's board. Again, worth over $30,000, and it could be yours if you decide to keep it. But again, you've got one of the lot cards uncovered. You need to find two more 
to win over a quarter of a million dollars in cash prizes, sir. So the decision's ultimately yours. You want to take that cheap and walk, come back next time, or you want to risk it, give it up, and play for the lot. What would you like to do? Well, Brandon, that cheap does look very nice, but the idea of possibly... Uh, I'm, I'm not normally a greedy man, but in this situation, you only get one opportunity to play for something like a quarter of a mil. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna risk it, and I'm going to go on. All right. For the, uh, All right, he's the giving it up. Ooh. All right. Big risk on this one. We hope it works out for you. I want to see two more so lot cards so you, can take, so you can take it all. Now, again, just as a reminder, the next the next prize that you match up there is yours to keep no matter what happens. So, hopefully it's two lot cards and you walk out of here with everything, sir. Best of luck to you. Keep on picking. Right. Uh, let's go number six. Number six. We would really like to see a lot card here. Jason? Behind the number six, we have prize number two. All right, that's one of the ones you haven't turned over. That's that snowmobile up for grabs. So you've got one of those. The only one you're missing right. now on the board is the GMC Denali, which is the car card. So. Okay, let's go number one. Number one. We want to find a lot card or a $10,000 card would be nice here as well. Behind the number one, we have the warrant. What? There's Ooh. one of them. One more lot card, Cameron, and you will have won it all, sir. Right. So let's what? cross our fingers. Let's cross our toes. Uh, let's cross any other body part you can think of. Um, get your minds out of the gutter, by the way, guys. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't thinking go. anything. Uh, let's go number three. Yeah. Number three. I can't, I can't cross my eyes because I have to see what I'm flipping over. <laughs> right. One out of ten chance, this is the lot card we need for a quarter of a million dollars. Jason? Did I stick it up my tree? Behind number three, we have... Ten thousand dollars in cash. All right, it's a bonus, another bonus card. All right, so find one more of those, and you're guaranteed ten thousand dollars plus another prize. Your odds just got a little bit better. They went from like ten percent to like eleven point one now. Um. Okay. Let us go. Number twelve. Number twelve. Really would look love to see that lot card right there. Come on. For a quarter million dollars. Jason. I'm, I'm as nervous as he is. Just saying. Uh, we're all excited. We, we want to see this lot win so bad because this jackpot is huge and we want to give it away. Right. Behind the number 12, we have the car. All right. There's the GMC Denali. Okay. So... That pretty much covers everything on the board, Cameron. So, unless you find a $10,000 card on this next pick, this is it. This is your last go, because you're guaranteed to match something up there. One out of eight chance. Yeah, I think your odds have now increased to 12.5%. 12 and and <laughs> hmm. But you have a 25% uh, chance of at least picking up 10000 or more. Hmm. All right, let's go number 20. 20. Would we put one, uh, one, seven, and 20? Would we really be that easy in this case? I personally, no offense, I kind of hope it's the $10,000 card that way because I, for picking this many, I feel like you've at least earned that much. But again, not up to me. It's uh, you pick the choices on your own. And I really want this to be a money card. So, Jason, it's all up to you. Behind the number 20, we have a commercial break. No, joking, joking, joking. No! Joking, joking, joking. We've taken our last <laughs> commercial break for this episode. Yeah, we ain't got no time. More. time. <laughs> Anyways, behind the number 20, we have 
The he, car! Hey! He got a car anyway! Instead of a Jeep Grand Cherokee, he's won himself a GMC Sierra Denali. That's a great prize, sir. Congratulations to you. Nice. And that GMC Denali is worth $41,845. And when we add that to your winnings today, sir, gives you a grand total for this episode of $42,445. And then if I add that to your previous winning, sir, you now have a two-game season total of $43,445, sir. Well done. Oh, that, that, now, that is, about, that is literally about as far as you can go in this game. Without, you can go, like, one more pick if you had found the $10,000. But there, that's, that's the maximum number of squares that get picked off the winner's board. But no winners yet on this one, so we will unfortunately have to hold that jackpot for another episode, and we'll add a, a, another five thousand dollars to it, making add, add another five thousand dollars to it there, making our jackpot worth one hundred and twenty thousand dollars next time here on sale. But that's it for now. We are all out of time. We thank you so much for watching, and. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, check out all three seasons of the show here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe and see more great game shows like this, the past, present, and future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until we see Cameron back here next time with two more players and a chance at over $120,000 in cash, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, for Jason Myers and for everyone here at Sale of the Century. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on sale this century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as a time would take. This is Michael Vincent speaking. Sales of the Century is an MGG production.